Hello, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. In this edition of PowerPoint Diagrams tutorial series, you will learn how to create BCG matrix in 3D. The diagram, the BCG matrix diagram you will learn to create looks like this. Isn't this beautiful? You can add icons like this to make the diagram even more relevant and beautiful. It is one of the most commonly used tool for analysis and it is used by many consultants for their business analysis. Let us see how to create this beautiful diagram using SmartArt from scratch. Let us go to a new slide. We are going to use a SmartArt graphic to create our BCG matrix. So I go to insert SmartArt. The graphic we want to choose is under the option called matrix and this is the diagram we are going to use which is called as grid matrix. Click on it and press OK. Now if you are not happy with the colors, you can always change the color to suit your requirement. Maybe we can use something like this one or you can use something like this so that individual colors are differentiated. The next step is to apply 3D perspective to this. If you want to add some text here before that, you can do so. So let me add say product 1 here and for this product 2. I am just adding some sample text so that you get a picture of how the diagram will look once you have uh, everything written. So product 4. Right. The next step is to add 3D perspective. So I am going to click on the bounding box, right click and go to format object and under effects option, I am going to use 3D rotation and I am going to give it a 3D perspective. So the preset I am going to use is under perspective, it is called as perspective relaxed. So click on that one and you have a 3D perspective given to the diagram. Now as you can observe, it is not much, it is not very clear, the diagram is not very clear for us to see. You will be able to see the difference as we improve this graphic now. Let us go to 3D format option. If you are using PowerPoint 2007 or PowerPoint 2010, you can always reach these 3D format or 3D rotation uh, panes by right clicking and going to format shape option. Now let us go to 3D format and I am going to use a top bevel and the bevel I am going to use is called as circle. So click on it and now you can see the various uh, elements of this diagram appearing very clearly. If you want, you can even increase the size of the diagram by dragging one of the corners of this bounding box. As it is very evident, you cannot really see the text very clearly. So it's a good idea to select all these shapes. Go to home and change the font color and I'm going to use black color for this. And we are going to remove the outline for these shapes. So let me go to the fill option and line, we will have no line. The benefit of doing this is, is when you go to effects option and when you add some depth, you will have the depth color and the color of this particular shape will be the same. So say 15 and you have the shapes in the same color, the depth being the same color of uh, the rounded rectangle here. Now let us add some shadow so that the diagram doesn't look like it is dangling in air. Let us go to shadow and the shadow preset that I'm going to use is under outer and is called as offset center. Because it's a 3D perspective, you cannot really see the shadow that clearly. So it is essential for us to increase the size of the shadow. So I'm going to increase it from 102 degrees to 112 degrees. 112% sorry. And when I do that, the shadow is very clearly visible. And that is all there is to it. You can always add the relevant uh, the text here. I am going to press Ctrl C while selecting all this. I am using Shift tab so that I can select multiple items at the same time. I go to the next one and press Ctrl V and it is up to you to actually position it the way you want. You can position it here. 
this is low this is high and the same thing goes here as well we will have it in the middle and we can have this low and we can have this high you can change the bevel type to make the diagram look more interesting if you want um, the bevel type to be something like this one which is convex you will have this beautiful um, look and feel for this particular diagram so that is how you create bcg matrix in 3d to have these icons um, like the one that we have seen here you can always go to um, clip art and find the relevant icons and uh, stick them there that is how you complete the diagram the diagram you see here is one of the ways you can create bcg matrix i'm going to show you some example templates taken from our powerpoint ceo packs which gives you alternative views of uh, bcg matrix let me go to this one which is about 2 by 2 bcg matrix and of course we can add the relevant text here and you can have this the portion that you are talking about or the quadrant that you are talking about highlighted with the icon let me give you another example template this one is about business portfolio analysis and we have used the same icons but with different colors this is another style for representing your uh, business portfolio especially if you want a very clean simple look for your slides this is the option you can choose here is another example template where we use different types of icons to make this uh, diagram look more relevant to your liking and this is another one where we have added sheen and um, added some nice call outs with dotted lines to make the diagram look more stylish so as you can see there is no one way you create a bcg matrix diagram the one that we showed you just now using smart art is a very simple way to create if you are a busy business presenter who doesn't have the time to create such professional looking graphics for yourself you can always take a look at off the shelf solutions like our powerpoint ceo packs volume 1 and 2 from where we have seen the examples the two ceo packs have more than 1600 fully editable charts and graphics for ceos and busy business presenters like you just choose the template that matches your thought and replace the sample text with your own text and your business slides get ready in no time creating professional quality graphics and professional quality slides has never been easier hope you liked our tutorial on creating bcg matrix in 3d in powerpoint if you want to learn more such articles if you want to watch videos or if you want to generally improve your presentation skills and powerpoint skills you can always visit us at presentationprocess.com thanks a lot for watching the video and happy presenting